which is about six women, one man, seven secrets, one which could ruin them all. A glow of drool vibrates in the corner of Beth's mouth with every breath of air that struggles through her sticky, cracked lips. Strands of stiff, bleach blonde hair clumped together and matted below her ear look petrified with dried saliva. Her fingers twitch. She has two black nails from when she jammed them in the hinge of the alcohol cabinet door. She groans. One eye opens. Edie stares right at it. A vibrant crystal blue bordered with a yellowy bloodshot white. <sighs> you make me fucking sick. Beth's eye closes and sits up, blindly reaching toward the coffee table for a pack of fifties. It's empty. She scrunches the packet and throws it across the room. It lands between an urn and an empty <coughs> bottle of gin on the mantel. Love, get me a packet of cigs from the servo, will ya? Beth croaks, her eyes still closed. She opens and closes her mouth in an attempt to rehydrate it. Clicks her tongue as if tasting something foul, most likely the roof of her mouth. One of her cheeks is creased and streaked with red lines that look like giant broken corpuscles, temporarily marking her with a pathetic addiction and a plea for concern. That is, until the marks fade and Beth's blatant midday drunkenness reminds Edie that sympathy claimed its freedom long ago, descending down their street in triumph. Beth pushes hair out of her face, trapping her fingers in the soggy, matted clump near the base of her neck. She stands, almost losing balance, and shuffles into the kitchen. She pulls a sharp knife out of the drawer. Edie doesn't flinch, secretly hoping Beth will drive it through her stomach, but then instantly retracts the thought. Beth grabs the clump of hair in her fist and saws it off with the knife. The hair crunches along the blade as if it were alive, crying for help. She stares out the window, leaves the massive hair on the bench, and puts the knife back in the drawer. As if remembering Edie is in the room, Beth yells, Love, I asked you a fucking question. Are you and your chubby ass going to get me those things or do I have to go out on the fucking street and strain me poor old legs? She stumbles back to the couch. Edie focuses on Beth's dirty, cracked heels as her sweat humidifies air around her. Edie slaps two slices of white tip-top bread on the cutting board and spreads them with salted margarine, promising herself that she'd cut out all dairy products and carbohydrates tomorrow. <laughs> There's a spare pack on your dresser, Ma. <coughs> she, sub she shoves a whole slice into her mouth, chewing aggressively. Filling her mouth with an edible cushion is the only way to save herself from saying something she'll regret and enduring Beth's blistering slap. Well, get it for me, will ya, love? Beth lies back down on the couch, closes her eyes and nurses her head. She rubs her temples, swallows saliva, coughs it back up, swishes it around her mouth, and washes it down with the dregs of vodka from the bottle on the floor. Woo! <laughs>